Before we start painting on our shoe, I wanted to take a few moments to introduce you to a few of the painting tools that Moto has to offer. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and make a simple primitive. I'm going to hold down the control key, go over to here, and click on this torus. Now, if uh, your setup is like mine, uh, it'll probably just create a uh, polygon model. And uh, if I hit the control shift key, that'll convert it to a Catmull Clark. And that's what I prefer. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and name this Taurus. Okay. Now we don't have to worry so much about making a UV map for this because Moto automatically creates UV maps for any of the primitives that it makes. So if I go over to here, open up the UV panel here, you can see it's made a very, very nice, clean, perfectly square UV map for this. So it's going to map really nicely when we start painting on it. All right. So now there's a couple of ways we can uh, access the painting tools. Now if we go over and open up all of the switcher tabs here by clicking on that only there, we can see that we have a paint switcher or paint interface already set up in the switcher tabs. Click on that and you can see that it automatically has uh, sculpting and painting tools and all this in the toolbox. And uh, it also sets up down here all, all different types of brushes that you, you might need or want to use for your painting. So that's very handy. Now, if you prefer to work in the uh, Moto uh, switcher here in the Moto tab, you can simply click over here to this toolbox and that'll bring up the uh, paint and sculpting tools. The paint tools are the second edge tab down there. And we can also go down here to bring up the uh, the brushes. Uh, click on this guy here and go to ah sculpt and brush right there. <laughs> All right, so there we are, and uh, these are the paint tools, the brushes, and uh, uh, different different kinds of inks and things like that we might need. So I'm just going to actually switch over to the painting tab because uh, I'm just kind of used to it, and everything's already set up for me. So let's just take a look at how the painting actually works. Now, I'm using a pressure sensitive stylus with this and you can use a mouse or a stylus. The stylus, of course, will give you some extra features such as pressure sensitivity that you can't get with a mouse. But either way, for our purposes, should work just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select an airbrush in this panel here. And I'm gonna click in the viewport and watch what happens over here in the shader tree. Uh, if I click uh, on my object, it suddenly creates a, an image map. So you don't have to create an image map. And that map is now wrapped around our UV texture, our, our UV map. So if I paint on this, so as I paint on the model, it's actually painting on the image. And the image is uh, wrapped around our UV map. So yeah, so and I can change colors. I can go ahead and uh, do an eraser if I want. Uh, there's a lot of little tools here that you can use that will give you some really cool uh, brush strokes here. We can also uh, change the uh, type of texture on the brush itself. Now, if you want to change your brush size, you can simply hold down the command key and click and drag and that will change the brush size. If you hit the command and control at the same time, you change the brush edges there. Now if you have a mouse, if you're working with a mouse, you can also right click anywhere in the viewport to change the size. Control right click will also change the, uh, the fall off of that brush. So just remember that you're going to have to save this image, right click and save it before you quit Moto. Otherwise you will lose whatever you painted on that image. Now I'm just going to jump over to the UV mapping tab right there and see what's going on with our UV map and with our image. As you can see, that image matches up to the UV geometry and I can actually paint in this UV field. So that's very handy. So you can actually paint uh, in a 2D field and see it applied to your model. And you can switch over to paint on the 3D model itself. Uh, my brush isn't the right brush for now, but, uh, but that does work.